from being a skit creator as Wolf GX7. And the gloves, it's me again, the one. Yo, what's up everybody? Yes, it's me, it's me, the CEO of the BDF Network, Mr. Wolf GX7. To being a bare bones and boring reaction channel. Ago, it's Subsy Wild. However, before I talk about his newer content, we have to go back to 2008 when he was Wolf GX7. Wolf GX7 created his channel around June 30th, 2008, in which he would create skits based off of media and his own characters he came up with. Most of the videos featured on the channel are now considered lost media, as he would later remove many of the videos on it. The three characters he introduced on the channel were Mr. Green. Mr. Smiles, Bucket, and his pet cat Mr. Jingles. There were a very few characters on the channel that wouldn't be until in 2011 which he created the channel called BDF Network, which introduced Bubba Dunk Funkin, the mascot of the channel. Hello out there in the world of YouTube, my name is Bubba Dunk Funkin. I live in a town called Dunkville. And then in 2013, he would create two new characters, such as Steve the Darkness, and Bubba's father, the latter being short-lived. Hello mortals, it is I, uh, Steve the Darkness, and I'm gonna talk about John Cena. Hey, kids, my Bubba subscribers, uh, hello, I'm Bubba Dump Funk's daddy. And then a couple years later, he would later create the channel called BBT Network, and introduce the character that the reaction community is now familiar with. He would start off with Rance at first. Alright, this is Billy Bob Canley here, people. And today I'm going to tell you the very few things I like in WWE. And then in mid-2015, he would react to various videos on YouTube, which pretty much started off his reacting career. In November 20th, 2015, he would reach his first ever milestone, 1,000 subscribers. Alright, this is Billy Bob Canley here, people, and... Yeah, I got 1,000 subscribers on my channel. Which would later grow to 5,000 subscribers in 2018 because of his reaction content getting out there in the world. And then in December 2018, he would later hit 10,000 subscribers. Oh, ah, I'm Otis James Clinton. Bitches and sluts. We're celebrating right now, people. We're celebrating. Celebrating that I got 10,000 fucking subscribers. <laughs> Despite all this, he struggled to gain viewers around 2017 because of YouTube's change in the platform, which would later recommend family friendly creators instead of edgy creators because of their community guidelines being terrible. Despite YouTube being 13 plus. You know, I miss making the videos I had, you know, the reactions and random stuff. I always wanted to make y'all happy, but I just can't do it. Fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you! And also during the time, his low-end computer couldn't even run YouTube properly anymore, due to how bloated YouTube became in 2018. The struggle would however be over in 2018, in which he would finally have enough for a good gaming PC, in which the rendering speed increased a lot, and he could make videos more easily with it. And then a year later in 2019, he would reach 15,000 subscribers. I got 15,000 fucking subscribers, yay. Despite this, this was the year when YouTube introduced COPA, which would censor all of YouTube, and this meant many creators would easily be demonetized for their content if they aren't family friendly. So, because of this, he would introduce his reaction request website in 2020, in which you have to pay him money to make him watch a video, which would later start his decline, as his future reactions would be completely bare bones compared to his previous reactions. <laughs> What the hell is this? Ah, uh, 
cringe. Cringe. It's not helping the fact that BBT himself was pretty much getting tired of doing these reaction videos, but it's clearly his job now, so he has to do it for the money. Despite the decline of quality, due to his reaction website doing well, he was able to upgrade to an even better computer, and then later on in late 2020, he made it to 20,000 subscribers. <laughs> it finally happened! I have finally hit 20,000 fucking subscribers! <laughs> However the reality would hit on him in 2021, when YouTube would later demonetize his channel for reused content because of his reaction videos. Despite allowing someone else on their platform to be monetized for doing reactions on this channel, is fucking bad. Sorry guys, it's not my fault. You can blame the old Karen bitch. This is not YouTube, this is Karen dude. However because of his reaction website, it still allowed him to be paid. So he still went on to make reaction videos on a different channel called BBT Reacts. And then in 2021 he reached 25,000 subscribers. I've hit 25,000 fucking subscribers, yay! I should be more excited but I'm not because YouTube's a fucking cunt and so is Susan her nasty cunt. And then later on this year, in which his decline went further, he reached his final milestone. 30,000 subscribers. <laughs> May 2023 would be when both of his channels would have their content wiped off the platform by BBT himself. Due to how shitty YouTube's moderation bots are, in which he moved to another channel called BBT Reaction Zone in which the reactions on there are pretty much on the same level as SS Sniper Wolf's reaction content. A lot of the stuff BBT does in the reactions are now predictable, such as saying what the hell, drinking beer at random points, talking over the video, acting like a seal, pulling his gun out and in general hating the video that you the requester paid money for him to view. However it wouldn't be until the bluey video, in which would expose BBT of not taking any criticism about his reaction videos being super hateful, and which many expressed in the comments of the re-upload. If anyone wants to know why he removed it, it's because me and others have given him backlash slash constructive criticism for his commentary and the idiotic takes he makes. Ever since I made my comment about it, he then decided to block me slash hidden my comments from his channel. The guy can't take criticism. I know it. Despite the fact he wants to make money off of this he doesn't want to improve. I got blocked too, or because I dared to call him out for his misinformed takes and correct the toxic people in his comment section spreading false narratives about YouTubers that he disapproved of. I don't even have a vendetta or anything against him, I was simply giving valid criticism. So not only is this guy profiting off of the work of actual content creators, but he's an emotionally stunted grown man led too. As a former fan of BBT that requested videos since last year, I was able to request him most of Starter Squad, and got him to react to a few of my YTPs, but I feel like I was giving him requests at the wrong time, considering it was in the era where BBT's reaction videos declined hard, in which I am planning on not requesting him any more stuff after this, I am done with his reaction content. And honestly I am not sure what will happen to his channel in the future honestly. Overall, Wolf GX7 would have a huge decline, and would turn into a mediocre reaction channel, and due to his other channels being abandoned, his newer channel barely hits a 100 views in some videos, only videos that feature him and YTP seem to get popular. This is Blast Toys Network signing off.